Polski National Park, Polish, Polski Park Narodowy, is a national park in Lublin Voivodeship, eastern Poland, in the Polish part of the historical region of Polski. Created in 1990 over an area of 48.13 square kilometers, it covers a number of former peat bog preserves: Dern Bano, Jezioro Mosh, Jezioro Delugi, Torfowisko Orlowski. In 1994, its size was augmented by the addition of Bano Bubnow, a swampy terrain adjacent to the park. Currently, the park occupies 97.62 square kilometers, 37.69 square miles, of which forests make up 47.8 square kilometers and water and wastelands 20.9 square kilometers. The idea of creating a national park in the Polish part of Polsi first appeared in 1959. Over the following years a few preserves were organized here, and in 1982 the government announced the creation of Polski Park Krajobrazowy Polsi Landscape Park. Currently, even though Polsi's infrastructure is quite well developed, it is rarely visited by tourists. In the village of Zaluz Stare there is a cultural center with a museum. The national park and neighboring areas form the West Polsi Biosphere Reserve, designated by UNESCO in 2002. The Shotsky National Natural Park is adjacent on the Ukrainian side of the border. The park is also protected under the Ramsar Convention as an important wetland site. <inaudible> <inaudible> World War II history After the invasion of Poland, Nazi Germany planned to set up a Jewish reservation in the Polsi National Park known for its swampy nature. Adolf Eichmann was assigned the task of removing all Jews from Germany, Austria, and the Protectorate of Bohemia and Moravia to this reservation. The first short-term plan to be implemented was to concentrate the Jews around Nisko. Deportations began in October 1939. The Nisko Plan, initially intended to remove 80,000 Jews from the so-called Greater German Reich, was scrapped in April 1940. By that time 95,000 Jews chiefly from Poland were already deported to this area. They were pressed to work in the RSHA camps of General Plan Ost. By mid-October however, the idea of a Jewish reservation was revived. Resettlement actions connected to this plan continued until January 1941 under Globochnik, and included both Jews and Poles. Some 51 camps were created, but further plans of deporting up to 600,000 additional Jews to the Lublin Reservation failed because of logistical factors. Notably, in less than two years the whole district would lend itself to the industrialized murder of hundreds of thousands of Jews during Operation Reinhard. Geography <laughs> 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 The park lies on the Lechna Wolodawa Lakeland. In the south, it borders the Lublin Upland, in the north, the region of Podlaski, and in the west, Masovia. Parts of its forests can be considered as tundra like, which is unique in continental Europe and characteristic of Russian Siberia. The park's terrain is flat, with numerous lakes and peat bogs. Ecology <inaudible> <inaudible> Of the plant species, the greater part is made up of boreal plants, typical of other parts of northern Europe, but there is also some Atlantic flora, as it lies on the border of these important plant regions. The region which is particularly rich with flora is the Bono Bubnau. Animal life is abundant, including 21 species of fish, 12 species of amphibians, 6 species of reptiles and up to 150 species of birds including several endangered eagles. Out of 35 species of mammals, one can point out otters, elks, beavers and bats. The ecosystems of swamps and peat bogs, which dominate the park's landscape, are considered very delicate and can easily be influenced by several outside factors. Some unfortunate changes were made by draining swamps, which took place mainly during World War II, when the area became the focus of the Nazi German Lublin und Nisko plan. However, the most important threat to the life of the park is its proximity to the Lublin Coal Basin, which is located less than 2 km from the park's protective zone. See also List of national parks of Poland <laughs> Notes <laughs>